Today's episode will be presented in English, Chinese, and Oluxis, also known as Vietnamese, with subtitles in Arabic, Oluxis, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Hello和平的观众们好,我是木雅,来自有福尔摩沙之称的台湾高雄,台湾热心的民众,从这个阳光明媚,繁荣的南部大都会,希望你能永浴宇宙的爱河。在农历八月十五日这天并品尝美味的纯素月饼 2017年 四集节目之一，爱在西湖，师徒欢聚庆中秋。谢谢，啊。中秋节快乐，啊！好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好
Um, or from the other back? Is there another back somewhere? Huh? There's another back. Your master has to take care of every little detail. They're hiding it. Huh? Okay, this is just for me personally, okay? Otherwise, you have a lot of things here, huh? Yeah, because I, sorry, don't have a lot of time for you. And you came from such a long way, and I, I'm not a good host. No, sorry about no, that. You're yeah. the best host, Master. Thank you. Thank you. You are very good. I hope you enjoy, huh? Yeah, no, we, we do always. always. Yes, always. okay. So that, these are also some cake inside, and also different sorts of teas that I selected for you. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. A little bit here, a little bit there. So. And also, not enough space, so I'll put some more here. Some more tea, so you can enjoy what you like. Okay, huh? Spoil us all. All right. Today is a moon festival. What can you say on a moon festival? Mm. Moon festival, people only like to eat, right? Mm. Cakes a lot. Who needs a master speaking anything? Look at that. Oh, no, look at that. Lucky guys, huh? I'm going to eat a lot today. Mm. <laughs> um, but these are only for you, huh? For you, the, the one from a foreign country. Yeah. Even if you stay here, you can join, okay? So, how is everybody? Nimendo, how are How are you? You okay? Really? Yes. Now and then you do this uh, picnic style. Not too bad, no? Right? Where's my dog, by the way? Good love, where are you? Love! Sit down, huh? Sit down, baby. Sit down. Here. Don't go anywhere. He will come here. He will come here. Come here, baby. Come. Oh, yes. You good boy. You want to come down to the moon festival, huh? Everybody together. That's why I let you go down. Yeah, you come. A little bit more in here. Can you see? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah, this is my dog. I took him everywhere, different countries, he never got sick. Normally, normally when in a new area, dog, they don't eat, you know, they don't feel good. They have to adjust for four days. He insists to go down because he wants to protect me. I say, never mind here, yeah, we don't need to protect, but he just want to make sure. He's still not well, understand? He's still uh, taking medicine. He has even problem with the skin outside, and then some problem inside, you know. It just happened, because um, we have to wait six months, understand? So then I come and go, come and go, and uh, the assistant, they don't take good care of him. Normally dog don't, cannot eat salty food, not too salty, you know, a little bit, maybe now and then okay, you know, like a snack or something. He likes it, uh, the bad thing, like, uh, uh, how you say? <laughs> you know, potato chips, something like that, <laughs> or some of these uh, cakes, you know, small thing. I give him sometimes, once every Christmas, for example, you know, or when there's occasion when he's happy to see people, then I give him some, but that's all, you know. Otherwise, he eats his food and we cook for him without salt, yeah? And the assistant, lazy, bought a lot of Indian food, gave it to him spicy, even afterward. I didn't know that they do that, because normally they should cook for him, you know, but they didn't. They should buy a lot of Indian food and just give straight to the dog, and she knows they shouldn't, because the food for humans are already very salty, no? Yeah. And then spicy even on top of that, oh, they got, they, they, he got sick. He couldn't breathe, and he couldn't eat, and he couldn't, ah, oh, he couldn't settle down, you know. I, I was so panicky. And the medicine didn't help. I mean, not, not the way I saw it, not immediately. Then I had to use something else. You know what is this, right? Yeah, I have to. Normally, if you're sick, you must go to doctor, eh? Don't resort to any other things, you know, your power and stuff, or go to magic power and things like that. It's okay if I use it, only emergency, understand? But I don't use it on myself. If I'm sick, I call the doctor. <laughs> it's quickly, I swallow a few pills, and I'm okay with you, you know? 
But uh, the doctor also give all the pills for painkiller, but I stop it first. You know, I see if I can do first. Because he's already sick, you know, inside. And if he has more medicine, you know, I couldn't eat for many days or weeks or one week more than already. And if he take more painkiller and other things, then he might collapse, you know. He's very sensitive. So, so I try a different approach first. So we didn't have to take the painkiller. Yeah, for him. But he still t- need take all the medicine, continue already, so we continue with that course. Even uh, he was in pain, you know. He was in pain and panting and, and very in pain already. I didn't want to resource to the inner, <laughs> inner power, so I asked the doctor to give him painkiller. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, it didn't work, so I have to do it. So we don't have to take more painkillers. But even then, he was in pain in the night. But because many of uh, you gather here, and some of you try to go up or something, so he jumped out of the door. He want to go out. I cannot not let him out. He was so, you know, very, very uh, agitated. So I have to let him out. And then he run all over <laughs> my area to check if anybody there. Well, please don't try, huh? And he was in pain and sick. Didn't eat for days, you know. Have to the doctor has to feed him, a, you know, IV. Yeah, a, a liquid, because he didn't eat and he couldn't walk even. And for that, even that, he tried to protect me. Understand that? And then today he just insists to go down here. Yeah, and walk around like that. It's okay, baby. It's okay. We have hoofa around here. Yeah. I could not bear it because he already in pain, you know? And couldn't eat and couldn't walk very far normally. He, he's uh, energetic. He's young, you know, only four, four to five years old. But uh, already in pain like that. Still think of me and run around just, just to make sure nobody come and harm me. Yeah, you know, I, I was in tears, you know, I don't know any human <laughs> would treat me like this. Yeah. Good love, don't go down. Stay here, huh? Hey. I know you are <laughs> beautiful, but no need, okay? It's all right. Mm. It's all right. Uh I could not, not let him come. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I'm worried you guys will touch him and then make him more trouble because his skin already sensitive. I know you all love him, but let him be, okay? Let him be. All right, now, he's checking everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I just had to take him down, yeah. And then afterward, I have to force him to come in the house, you know, where we have, like, aircon for him. So he don't feel too bad about the skin and the inside pain. Yeah. And then I had to do something. Because I asked the God, you know, <laughs> I, I was so, you know, very anxious. And then they told me, but you can heal him. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. You know, because I don't, I don't use it. And not, not consciously, not physically, understand? I don't use it on me or on my dogs. Because for that, we have doctors, okay? We're living in physical world, you know. We do everything according to the book. I never use it, I forgot, you know? So they told me, you can, you, only you can. So, but I don't use this astral stuff, understand? If I use, I use very higher level, above your school even. So you don't try, Uh uh-huh. It's bad for you. Hmm? Okay. If you're on the lower level, they count. Everything you use from their kingdom, from their power, they count it all. And you have to pay with your spiritual merit. That is a problem. If they make a sick or ill, okay, fine, okay, I get, I recover. Even, even if I die, I would go to higher dimension. But no, they take your spi- spiritual merit to make themselves stronger. And you weaker. See that? Because if we uh, commit some offense in this world, they do that. Because I was sure go the city that, because that doctor gave me medicine, and then he 
，他就很呼吸困难了，痛嘛，我就应该用那边的那个元气给他了，然后马上就马上就停了，就睡着了，就打呼了。<笑> I just just a few minutes and he he snore, <笑> then I know he's okay. <笑> But we have to do it just several times a day, you know. Mm. Not just one time. It's just like medicine, you cannot take it all. You know, okay, doctor give you know five days. Why don't we just take it one and then <laughs> get and done with? It's not like that. Ah, 我说那个那那边的力量啊，跟那个药外面一样啊，也不是一次这样子就通通灌给他了。所以一天。我要做好几次了啊！不过我做就是很很高等级的那些那些做法了啊！你们在在地级的时候不要弄，弄的话那个那个魔王他都会算清楚啊，然后他把你那个修行的那个那个福报，嗯，把它扣啊！哎，不是说给你生病哦，啊，扣福报为了让他就更强壮，然后你更。更更地气，知道了 ，OK， 哎，太可惜啊！我因为我太紧张了嘛，我看他那个呼吸困难了，好像快死了样子。结果那个他们就跟我说，是我自己可以的，我自己要弄的，他们不行的，因为他们没有那个身体嘛，懂不懂？那个跟狗比较不靠近啊，所以我还是自己要做的。不过我我说我用你们力量就好了，因为我自己在这边不想用自己的啊，还 OK 还 OK， 我当工具了，这样比较比较比较惹麻烦，比较跟那个魔王惹麻烦了，哎，连自己师傅也要这么谨慎了，听懂吗？哎，然后每天要做好几次啊啊，两三次三次，所以不能一次不是一次关下去。嗯，今天还要弄了，昨天晚上还会。OK， 好了，懂了哈 ，You all understood？ Yes. Yeah. It's just for emergency, OK? I don't, I don't use it. I don't need to. For your kind of problem, I don't need to use physical nearness to do that. OK? Yes. He came here. I don't know what kind of karma. Is, immediately sick, already in the quarantine area. When he came, he's no problem. But the first time I visit him, no problem. Second time, immediately has skin, you know, uh, symptoms. And the the thing is, uh, the quarantine system is not a very uh, ideal, you know, because doc doesn't like changing too much. You see, first of all, he missed his owner because of separation during the flight or before that, and or even long period of separation. They have anxiety, you know. They call it separation anxiety. There's a name for it. And then, if you you put him on the airplane, it's stressful already. He's in the dark for many hours. And then already stressful, and then come immediately go into a strange car, government car, and then go direct to the quarantine area, and mostly they can see the owner only twice a week, two three times a week, in short short period, and inside you don't even know what they do with him, with him, you know maybe poking, picking, or all kind of exam, you know maybe all the students come and and learn from that, and all the poor dog. Already so anxious and and stress and and sad because separation, and then after the quarantine, he's allowed to go home. Change another environment, you know. Mostly, if the dog change environment, they don't get used to it until four or five days, until one week or more. My dog take more time to adjust with the energy surrounding his new environment. And then after that, go home. You know, go to the new home and adjust to new environments again. My dog, any time come new area, he don't eat for many days. He might drink, but he doesn't eat, or he might take a little bit of his favorite snacks, or but very little. Sometimes he don't even take. A few days ago, I give him the best favorite. He don't even take. I'm lucky that he's big and young and strong. Yeah. Is still on medication, yeah. 
antibiotic, imagine. Where could he get, <laughs> you know, infection from? I just... And then because of the uh, uh, waiting and I have to come and go, come and go, and I, when I come here immediately busy with new project, SMTV and all that, so the assistant just gave him what they wanted. I, I thought they knew. Already he cannot give humans food, you know, salty. And then buy Indian food because in, uh, in the quarantine he didn't eat. So I tried to get him a pizza, you know, vegetarian pizza, no, but they don't, they don't make it. So they went and buy some Indian food, Indian chapati, you know, or maybe naan, ve vegan naan, okay. Or maybe just a little bit samosa, okay, because he ate them, fine. And then I, s I say, okay, in that case, I give it to him. But not every day Indian food, not even two, three days. And then I didn't know that they give it to him. And then he was kind of very ill and very sick and... I thought it's because of the change and he didn't eat. But then when I, um, I was too busy, so I saw some Indian food in the fridge. I took out and eat myself. And then I realized in the morning, I saw similar food. It's not our cook, usual cooked food, but it looks similar. And I just take two bites and, oh God, it's so hot even for me. I love hot food. Some Indian food are my, some are too hot. They just give it to him. And no wonder he got sick, you know, inside. Lucky, I found out on time. Otherwise, if he's hungry and he eat even just a few mouthful, he would die before the symptoms even appear. Understand that? Oh, it was so scary, you know. If all the dog don't have to, you know, stay away for six months or don't have to quarantine, then things wouldn't have been like this. You see what I mean? Of course, this is the attendance fault, we can say that but because of the situation, you know? Be because before I wasn't busy. If I, I brought them here long ago already, understand? Without six months and without quarantine, then I could have brought them here long, long time already when I wasn't too busy, when we didn't start with the SMTV. Then I could take care of, the, of him. You see what I mean? And I could notice what they're doing. But everything come at once and the poor dog have to take the blow. When he has full, full uh, hair, he look more beautiful, of course. He might feel too, too hot now. And then he might have pain. Good luck. Psh, go. <laughs> I don't like to put harness on him because his skin already irritated. Come on, baby. I go home soon. Okay? No. Not now. No, no, don't, don't, don't play brave. Come, go. You see, before he didn't come and sit, and now I tell him to go home, and he goes sit so, so, you know, obediently like that. Huh? We all know your trick, okay? Go now. 感谢令人钦佩的观众收看今天这集《爱在西湖》，师徒欢聚庆中秋，四集之一。愿您和您真爱的人时时得享上帝的恩典与爱。Admirable viewers, thank you for watching today's episode of Love at Shihu, celebrating Moon Festival with Supreme Master Ching Hai, Part 104. Join us again tomorrow for Part 2 of the program. May you and your loved ones always live in God's grace and love. 详情请参访以下网站。www.suprememastertv.com/forward/slash/ee